Secrets of the Mastermind by David K. Drews In the Black Book of the Mastermind, Part 1 and 2, I described a little of what my mastermind group is like. Mastermind groups, by any other name, are an essential tool in business, personal development, and in promoting social or political causes. It is important that all the members of a mastermind be willing to take calculated risks and step outside their comfort zones. This where all personal growth and progress happens. No one will be, do, or have what they really want without taking some risks. Mastermind groups are sort of a shortcut. One can frequently copy or imitate another person and get the same results. My mastermind has saved me a lot of time, money, and frustration in building websites, getting traffic to my websites, getting answers to questions about health, productivity, which audiobooks are fluff, etc., etc. In this short ebook, I will share seven secrets I have learned in my mastermind since 2002, the Sutphin Seminar CD. In 2003, I purchased a 72-minute seminar from ProHypnosis.com. The topic was on becoming a multimillionaire. I listened to the CD pretty near every morning for two weeks. No, I didn't become a multimillionaire overnight, but I noticed I was pretty persistent and more determined to tackle the projects I needed to get done back then. I was not sitting around saying things like, I don't feel like doing this work. I need to talk to a phony friend before I take any action. Or... I think I'll watch some TV. No, there was none of that. There was just a trail of dust. I loaned the Sutphin Seminar Hypnosis CD to Bob from my master mind. Bob had to stay up and study for his real estate class after listening. Sleep won't be what you want after this powerful hypnosis. Bob called me and told me he and his girlfriend listened to the CD a few times. Before long, Bob had launched his first website, and I would follow before long. The Horum Juicer when I first met Bob, he was a health fanatic. Bob used a juicer every day. The old school juicers were a pain to clean. But Bob heard about a new juicer called Horum. This new juicer was easy to clean and is just plain better than the old juicers. Bob sent me one. Juicing apples, celery, and carrots is a great idea. The toxins that we get from fast food are obviously bad for us. These toxins in unhealthy food can cause disease and leave us feeling sluggish. Real apple and vegetable juice helps cleanse the human body of harmful toxins. Juicing is very controversial. Some juicing gurus have been hauled into court for their claims about the positive effects of juicing. Act as if everyone is on your side. One thing that we say in our mastermind is, act like everyone is on your side. Saying this reduces the little crying sheeple in you that wants to be one of the herd not challenge existing norms. When you get to the point where there may be controversy for publishing information, challenging a competitor, or launching a new product, I believe it is important to be resolute and bold. Pretending the masses are on your side helps with this. Don't treat out of kilter critics and or petty criminals as your advisors. Your advisors must work for you. Of course, frequently the scam is what's legal. Accountability Partners Another member of my mastermind and I worked as accountability partners for a couple weeks. What we wanted to do was monitor and control our spending and find ways to cut expenses. This was basically a little support group. We would call each other and report how we did with our day-to-day -day expenses. What was the problem? Three lattes a day, entertainment costs, and other misc. Expenses. Accountability partnering is effective. You don't have to focus on budgeting. You could focus on writing, networking, list building, fitness, pickup artistry, and making better viral videos. You know what you and your mastermind need. Develop better habits like my mastermind did. Step out of your comfort zone and overcome fears. Bob used to be afraid to fly. He wouldn't even consider flying. After years of personal development books and audiobooks and involvement with our mastermind, flew to Vegas and Costa Rica. Bob flew by plane. LOL. Stepping out of your comfort zone and overcoming fears are essential steps to take. Get the new information early. Bob frequently calls up various gurus and attempts to get the scoop on the views and discoveries of his gurus. Bob, of course, shares his findings with me and the rest of the mastermind. Bob has contacted health gurus, gurus who advocate relocating to Latin American countries, and one motivational speaker. The big takeaway from Bob's conversations is that we should not associate with complacent types, go-nowhere types, and losers. This affects your health, 
your mind, and your wealth. This was discussed in both of my mastermind books. Anchoring. I discussed anchoring in both of my books, too. I will suggest that you go to Stephen G. Jones to fully learn anchoring. You can go to betterlivingwithhypnosis.com. For now, just do this. Think of three times when you were highly confident and right to be that way. Maybe you applied for a job, walked into an important meeting, asked out a smoking hottie, or walked into a final exam for school. How did you feel at those times? Remember the feelings. Relive the feelings now. Next, fire the anchor, as they say, and say a key word, like confidence, and make some sort of signal with your hand. The next time you need confidence, simply fire the anchor. And you should really feel confident, just like you did when you felt confident in the past. You can use any feeling or emotion besides confidence. Conclusion A mastermind group can and will save you a lot of time, money, and energy if you have recruited serious and hungry people who agree to operate in a spirit of unity and harmony.